Hello everyone and you're welcome to GBFM for Tech Tutorial. I am Odurule Mojibola. Today I'm going to be teaching us how to make use of our toe tip or toe snip on slides and sanders. I'm also going to be explaining to us how I created this particular pattern. Sit back and I'll be right back. The first thing we are going to be doing for this particular Toe tip um, style is um, we're going to be making use of this particular shape. As you can see what I have, this space here is all the width. The width is just 5 cm. Then I have 1.5 on this side, 1.5 on this side, and this center is just 2.5. This length is 14.5 and this is 17 0.5 centimeter now the extra strap as you know we have a particular strap that is going into the shoe this way this is the way our style looks like we are going to be learning a lot in this class because we are talking about our toe tip accessory how to fix it and how we can use it to beautify our slides and sanders as you can see this is how the style is and we have another one going in between the thumb so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to cut out my patterns and i'm going to stitch them out as you can see i have stitched the strap but i've not stitched the main pattern that is going to be on this side what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to first of all first of all insert it into this place that is how to stitch you are going to insert it into this side before you stitch it you have to stitch the strap first before you now stitch it on this now it means one is going this way and then this small one small strap going in between the 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 the, the big toe and the next one I'm going to try to insert it here as well before I finally stitch it down. So it's not as if I'm just going to stitch this and be looking for how to place it. No, you start with your strap, then you fix it into this main pattern. Now, I'm through with the stitching. If you want to put these stone trimmings, you can decide to, to put it. As you can see, but for me, I think I like the holographic nature of this leather. So putting this thing will be, for me, I think it will be too much. So I'm not going to be fixing the trimming, but you can fix it. For this, you will just place it on it. You can use the ordinary gum, place it on it, and stitch it down so that it can last long. So that's what you are going to do if you are going to be hardening your trimming and if you are going to be using rainstone you can decide to use that our shoe glue to fix that on it but for me i'm just going to use it i think i like the i like the holographic holographic you know nature of that my leather so i'm going to use it like that i'm just going to punch now that's what we are going to do now i'm sure we know what our measurement is it still remains five by three point five so we have 3.5 this way don't forget it's always that particular measurement for adults if it's for children you can use 3.5 by 2.5 now i'm just going to punch now before i punch i'm going to be inserting pipe into this particular part so i'm going to make use of this pipe you can always buy this in the market i'm making use of a transparent pipe because i don't want to be experiencing pain in this part of my pattern don't forget we are learning how to use our toe tip accessory but before we use the toe tip i want us to quickly Look at how to fix you can see i like to always use three quarter of an inch some people like to use one inch but for me i always like it when it is just three quarter of an inch so i'm just going to insert this into this particular opening now i've inserted it into that part that we're going to be that will be in between the big two and the small two and um, now this is what we are going to now pick out the sides where the other strap 
is going to be entering so i'm just going to you can decide to use your leg and you can decide to work with whatsoever length your strap has and it depends on the size you are working with i think for me this is okay so so this is what i'm going to be doing so i'm just going to pick those points and use it to last my slippers now as you can see i've already last my slippers and i'm just going to add my toe tip accessory some call it toe snip some call it toe tap cap rather so this is the shape it has it has left and right you can see this is for this particular leg the second one is going to actually go this way so i'm just going to fix it on this side one important thing you have to know is that the shape of your toe tip is supposed to be the shape of your insole you have to walk along with it that way or else you won't be able to fix it on it so i'm just going to place it this way then fold it all around it i need it to stay perfectly so that i can fold it all around it i'm going to fold it and then use my armor to press it if you look at it this way you find out that yeah we are meant to adjust it in such a way that it can stay perfectly now i'm just going to armor it as you can see it's already perfectly fit on my insole so that is where i'm going to place it after this now i'm just going to go ahead and last my slippers yes now you can see what our toe tip or toe snip look like now this is just to protect this particular part of our insole that is major apart from the fact that it beautifies your slippers or sander or slide it also protect this particular part of the insole you know why you walk instead of this edge of your insole tearing as a result of oh why you are walking or you kick your leg on a stone or something therefore affecting the edges of the insole this will protect the edge of your insole you can see how lovely and beautiful this is i want to believe you have enjoyed today's tutorial if you are new in my channel don't forget to press the like button and the subscribe button also ensure that you press the notification bell so that you can be notified each time i upload a video Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.